Okay, so for this problem, we're given RT is equal to the vector T times square root of T plus 3, comma, T squared plus 4, comma, E raised to T minus 1, divided by T. We want to find the domain of RT, and we also want to compute the limit as T approaches 0. And so, this is fairly easy to do in the TI Inspire. If we write the word domain, and if you notice, as I write the letter N, the last letter, it changes font. This is because there's a built-in command for a domain. So I write domain, and the first term I have is T times uh, the square root of T plus 3. I do it like that, and I say uh, comma the term, so comma T, so like this. Hit enter, and for the domain for this one, it's going to be, uh, it can equal negative 3 and all the way to infinity. Likewise, we do the other two terms. So we can clear this out, write t squared uh, plus 4. It's all real. And one more. And that was, um, we, have, we have a fraction, and then numerator we have e raised to e, e raised to uh, t minus 1 divided by t, oh, comma t. So it, sh it says t does not equal 0. So we know that the uh, lowest it can be is negative 3, and it cannot equal 0, and it goes all the way to infinity. And so we had to think about it a little bit. So the answer would be close bracket negative 3, comma, zero open bracket because it cannot equal zero so u open bracket again zero comma infinity uh, infinity we use uh, you know regular parentheses since you can never reach infinity but it can equal negative three so we use uh, close bracket so this is the answer for part a now part b is actually very easy on the ti inspire so we first uh, we can write r we say r is defined as, because we can do this one in one shot. r is defined as the uh, vector. We have t times uh, the square root of t plus 3, comma, t squared plus 4, comma, uh, we have a, uh, so we have, we have, we have e raised to t minus 1 divided by t. So it's defined. This is exactly what we have here. And now we can simply say uh, menu calculus limit. This, simply hit enter, and there's our answer. This is the limit as t approaches 0 for rt. And that's all we need to do.